Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Josh. Welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today we are here on Jurassic World and ladies and gentlemen, we are going to continue on our power armor and we actually made ourselves some tesseracts. Um, I made myself off camera some more tesseracts. Um, I've got seven now to fill up. We need to grab some ender pearls now and we should be good to go. Let's grab these five already resonated. Um, and let's go ahead and fill up these seven. I forget exactly how much it requires. Um, let's drop that into fill mode, though. There we go. And we'll toggle that. Yeah, I forget exactly how much it needs, so we'll throw maybe one stack in at a time, and we'll go from there just to watch. Uh, but we are filling up seven. So we had this at 5,000. Let's see how much it uses. Um, oh, only uses a thousand. Perfect. Well, then, we've still got a bunch more coming in. Please tell me that's all of our pearl. Oh, we could take those pearls out. I would have thought that we were done with pearls, but I guess not. Yeah, because we will have... A little over a thousand twenty-five left, which is a bucket. All right, but here we go. We can make ourselves these force field emitters next, which I'm really happy about because then we got ourselves some um, protection and some really nice protection to the fact that I'm not worried about going outside and doing anything. Like I do not fear night at all anymore with them. I wonder if there's a headlamp. That could be really cool. I forget. We should have to look into that. Alright, we've only got three more to fill. With 4200. 4250 resonant ender remaining. We're about halfway done filling this one. I hate how slow it is. I wish we could do it without having, or speed it up without having to make, like, the next tier. Uh, which is actually very frustrating to make because you need this guy to make the next tier. So you need to make sure you have all the materials first and you can't, like, pull it out and it it's just like a hassle it's all a hassle let's be honest most of thermal expansion and thermal foundry is a hassle it used to be so simple I remember the old days all right you used to be able to put just upgrade cards into here I'm pretty sure like speed upgrades but that is why we're using mechanism for this sole reason. But um, our mod, our um, power armor mod relies on thermal, um, thermal expansion. So we need to use thermal expansion as well. So force field emitters. These guys right here are going to require one, two, three, four. Okay, we got five. We are going to need more solenoids. Solenoids. Let's craft up probably 30 more. What are we missing? Invar? Oh. We're missing silver too. How are we low on silver? I am like 95% sure that we have a ton of silver. Yeah. I was like, how are we low on silver? Hey, um, Invar though. We do need to do that. Invar. Looks like we need more. So, Invar blend. Blend. Right here. I always forget the recipe, but it's iron and ferrous. So, we can pulverize up real quickly another stack of that while we go grab two stacks of iron. Let's put the silver in here. Um. Actually, did I leave some right here? I did. I was like, I'm pretty sure we have some extra invar. We should check on that before we do anything else. Okay, solenoids now. We can make our, um, let's go back to, wait, forest field emitter. Um, yeah, solenoid. Solenoid. 20 of you start. Force field force field emitter we have those five and let's make 
the last eight. Perfect. Here we go. We're going to go here for the energy install. Energy shield install. Install and install. Okay. Now field strength. Um, we might want to put... It's 500 joules per hit. We'll probably put it at 3. Because 3 each should be pretty dang good. But any higher we go is just going to... Hold on. Ah! Yeah, any higher we go is just going to hurt our level of movement. Um, there we go. So we've got ourselves a whole bunch of armor now. If I put these all the way up, does that increase that? It does. Um, there we go. Cool. So we've got a whole bunch of power armor now. Um, next, let's go ahead and let's look at what we kind of want to do. Water electrolyzer. When you run out of air, this module will jolt the water around you, electrolyzing a small bubble to breathe from. Eh, don't really need that. Night vision. To help you see night and underwater, I knew there was night vision. Flight control. An integrated circuit uh, to help you uh, fly better. Press Z to go down. So we need the jetpack, which is right here, some ion thrusters. And I think we should do that first. So ion thrusters. I don't know, but I feel like these recipes are very difficult. Right. And we need four of them, don't we? I believe we need four. Yes. So... Um, that's a lot of Tesseracts, but, um, let's see, Tesseract, what else do we need? Can we make more? No, we need more hardened glass. Okay, let me go get myself some more hardened glass. Um, I'll be back in just a second when we're ready to craft this stuff. Alright, guys, there we go. There's more obsidian dust. And now, let's see, I think I left some lead downstairs in the, um, induction smelter, so let's do that. Yes, I did. So we'll grab this. Um, I also put in some more um, ender pearls so that we can get started with that. And we're going to need four of them, so we'll need eight um, of these again. So we'll need 8,000 um, redstone or um, ender, resonant ender. Let's grab probably another stack of that. And we need to probably head to the end soon and get ourselves an ender trap. That could be really, really nice. All right, there's 12. That makes us four. Here's... Um, or 12 makes us... Now we have four. And we need another 16. Okay. We need 32 of these to make eight. And we're going to need more lead. Let's grab more lead. Come on, let me through. Lead. Grab another half stack of you. And we can do this. Alright, so lead's gonna go into here. There's another 12. We need only four more. We'll let the rest go, though. Because you never know when you're gonna need. Wow, oh, I'm hard in glass. And it's very annoying to make. All right, let's grab, there's that, and we can make Tesseract. We need eight of you, and let's go ahead to fill these up. And there you go. You've got enough. 
We'll let those fill, and while they're filling, let's go ahead and look back at the ion thruster recipe. Ion thruster. Make sure we've got everything else we need. So, um, glowstone, electrum, and wiring, and solenoids. Well, do we have glowstone? We do. Do we have electrum? We do. Do we have, um, wiring? We need probably 30 of you. And solenoid, we are going to need probably 20 of you. And we're missing more invar. That's fine. Um, let's grab iron. I forgot to continue making this invar from last time. And we could do two stacks of it, too. Um, it's not a big deal. Well, do, 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 do. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Um, let's grab another stack of iron. And there we go. So once we're done with this, I think we're going to continue some work. Like, I'm talking about future episodes. We'll continue some more Jurassic World stuff. Then we'll get into the quest for a million ores. Which is awesome. I'm really excited for that. Okay, let's grab that. Grab this last little bit. Perfect. And there we go. Another stack and a half. 17, 18, 9 to 21. Okay, we'll grab 24. Hopefully this will be enough to carry us through with some solenoids. Solenoid. We need probably 20 of you. There we go. Um, then we are going to go to an ion thruster. And it's missing wiring too. Now, we grab the six that have been made here, <laughs> seven, and we are going to need ourselves some uh, force field emitters. Again, more things that we probably don't have. Oi, is all I have to say to this. All right. And that guy's done. Perfect. So let's head upstairs, and we are going to make ourselves some more ion, th or, um, some force field emitters. Force field emitter. We need eight. I was like, better not run out of ender pearls. Solenoid, because these are things we can craft. And okay, we need more. Invar. That's fine. We've got a bunch of invar. Now, at least. There we go. A little over... A er, little over two stacks. Almost three. Solenoid. And finally, for the Ion Thruster. Ion Thruster. We need some wiring. One. Two, three, four. Perfect. And let's get these guys installed into this guy. Jetpack install. And we'll adjust the thrust. Um, we need to go to keybinds. New. Hmm. X is already taken. New. R. Taken. New. T. Taken. New. Taken. Of course. Let's go up to our controls and let's see. Blow yourself up. Like, what do we even need that for? I just don't even want it. Reset. Can I just void it? Uh, 
advanced recordings. What is that? Oh, I see. Um, okay, controls. Let's see. We'll put it, set it to grave for anything we don't need right now. Like grave, 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 gun key. We'll set this all since we don't have this stuff yet. We just don't even have enough keys on our keyboard for this. Okay, those need to stay. Inventory one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. E. Um, mechanism voice. It's you. We don't need that. Waypoint hotkey. Um, key dot pink cosmetic. We don't even have button one hundred. Go down can be X. What is bound to Z right now? Z for zoom from Tinker's contract. P. Done. Okay. Let's go to keybinds new. Z. Okay. Why isn't that working? Um... See, ah, uh, da da da. Oh, you need to hold it down. Right, I forgot that. Okay, so now we need to get our jetpack control. Okay, um, well, first, let's probably drop the thrusters down just a little bit. Um, let's get ourselves some jetpack control here. Um, right here, flight control helps integrate to help you fly better. So, press Z to go down. Okay, so we need a control circuit. That's fine. Oh. Oh, it's on now. Okay, never mind. Control circuit. One of these guys. And what are we missing here? Because we need cactus and electrum. We need more wiring. Control circuit. We need one of you. And we need some cactus green. Well, I believe... that I have cactus over here in the flowers. I do. Oh, I even have cactus green already made. Look at that. Look at, would you look at E. That is awesome. Okay, so cactus green goes right there and we get ourselves a control circuit. Yes, so let's put this guy into here, install. Um, but. 
Okay, so we need to bind this to something that will let us have, um... Let's go back to keybinds. Let's delete this. No, X is taken. No, C is taken. No, F... V. Y is taken even. U is taken. They're all taken. J. Perfect. Okay, so. This enables our fly. And that is our flight control. Okay, so... Interesting, I might flip these around here like this, so that um, Z is actually our um, flight, and J configures when, if we want to have specially, specialized flag, pretty much. So, basically, how this works is like this. I could fly up, and I'll fall down instantly, if I don't have this flight control on. And with flight control on, it lets me go ahead and actually fly pretty much in creative um, it's a little bit different than creative fly um, it's definitely better than what we had I love how we're gaining that's awesome come here boy cool I like that all right, let's see what else we could kind of install onto this guy. And we've got 4.66 million power left. I like the flying, though. Definitely like the flying. Let's get rid of these stupid drops. I don't even want to cluster my um, ME system with them. Let's head down here. And let's check out what else we can add to this. Um up here so we could put some night vision let's see cooling system oh right it can overheat um, let's see uphill step swim boost jump assistant so we need servo motors for that so let's go ahead we will do Double tap forward and walk faster. Okay, so we'll do it. Let's do six servo motors now. Um, servo motor. Just like this. That's not too bad to make. We need just a few of these guys. And like that. One, two, three, four. Solenoid, come back, man. There we go. Ah, wiring, come back, man. There we go, six. And install this stuff right up here. Um, sprint assist, uphill step assist. Um, Two, let's see. We'll do walk speed by a hundred and twenty percent. Sprint speed by a hundred and sixty percent. Oh, yes. 
Look at the speed at which we run here. So much better. All right. And I think the last thing I want to put on these guys is some night vision. That could be really cool. All right. Let's see. Night vision. What do you need? Well, actually, let's go down here. Let's make sure shock absorber. When you use some servo springs and padding, you should be able to negate a portion of fall damage. We should probably do that, too. Um, let's do night vision first. Um, yeah, let's do night vision. So we are going to need hologram emitter and control circuit. Hologram emitter. Hologram emitter. Oh, I don't have everything for that. Never mind. Bummer. Because I know I don't have any... Wait, I might have some roses. Rose, flower. Yeah. I have dandelion, but not rose. I had a feeling that was the case. Yeah, bummer. Okay, um, I guess until we get that night vision, which isn't going to be bad to make, let's go ahead and put these um, down here, this shock absorber. So we need two wool and two servo motors. Well, we could do that. Servo. Servo motor. We need just some more solenoid. Solenoid. Start. One, two, and some wool. How about string? How about something? I hope I have four. Let's go check out some spiders. Because I need your string. Get back here. Give me your string. Or at least give me some sheep. Um, well, we are going to just run around and look for string, I guess. Or sheep, whichever come first. There's another Enderman. There's a sheep. Hello, ship. There we go. Ah, shoot. We blew up some of our pathing. Bummer. Where are you shooting me from? I think it's almost time. I think it's time for us to call in some new uh, amounts of sorting. Because our sword is pretty weak. We should probably upgrade that soon. Alright, let's go here. Mob drops doo doo. And dirt. You can go into your dirt container of dirt. Please don't tell me that was I was like, please don't tell me that was wool. Alright, and let's go install these shock absorbers. And then, from here on, we should be good to go with these guys. We could do some coloring. Install that, and uh, we'll do we'll do that. Um, we've got some we don't need that, we don't need that yet. Cool. Let's go to visual. Let's check out this here. Look at this. Different designs we could choose from. Um, visors. No, I want it like that. Okay. Um, ooh. Tubes.
no, no, stop it. I want the tubes to be blue, some black. Um, I like that. That's cool. Let's see. How does that look on our head? Ooh. Ooh. We got that Optifine cape, though, that's kind of messing up with everything. Well, that's fine. Nope, that kind of looks weird. That looks very weird. Why do I have a hot dog on my head, too? I don't want anything. Remove hat. No! I said... Remove hat. Done. Okay, F5. Let's go back to visual. Um, if I go like that, do I, where, where is it? I want to reset it. No. I want to reset it to what it was. Crap. Um... I guess we still have the power armor on, but it doesn't look like we're wearing anything. We could do that. That's cool. Alright. That's cool. I like it. That's fine. I'll work on that tinkering. I haven't really... I don't know much about it. So, um, I'll definitely have to look into that. But, um... I'm really happy with the way that things have turned out today, guys. I don't know about you, but I think they're pretty amazing. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And if you're new to my channel, check out my other content I upload on the daily. But anyway, guys, my name is Josh, also known as JCap Gaming, and I will see you guys all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.